Hi everyone, Cobweb Rose here, and as promised, I'm unpacking my pack post long trail section hike. And I know my packing the pack video is really long, so thank you for all of you that hung in there and watched it. And this one's gonna be shorter, I promise. So let's dive right in. So things that I brought that I really didn't use and probably wouldn't use on the trail again. Um, my umbrella, it rained pretty much the entire time I was on trail, but honestly, I didn't open this thing except to make breakfast on the third day. And it really wasn't a help of me because of all the steep ups and downs of the trail. Um, I wouldn't have been able to stay dry no matter what I did. So I think I may get this one more hike, but it's probably not going to come with me on future hikes. My micro spikes, I didn't use these, but honestly, depending on the winter conditions, I'll probably continue bringing these as just my safety net for future winter hikes. Another thing that I have that I didn't need, but will definitely be bringing on future hikes, my bug net. Really didn't need it in the winter time, but definitely a must in the summertime. Um, I used my rain gloves on this trip for the first time. As you remember, these are cheap latex um, cleaning gloves, and they actually helped a lot on the second day. The only qualm I have with them is they really didn't breathe very well, so my hands were getting wet from sweat, um, even though they were kind of staying dry from the mud and the rocks and everything that I was putting my hands on. So definitely would bring these on another hike, but I don't know how useful they're going to be overall. Hey, Riley. <laughs> My dog, Riley. She just wants to be in the middle of all the action, always. Um, another thing that I brought on this hike that I probably wouldn't bring again for these conditions um, is actually my tights that I wore in camp every night. Um, these are much better suited for the summertime, but they were honestly just too cold for me on this hike in the winter. I'll probably just switch to my fleece pants during winter hikes and wear these in the summertime. Another thing I had that I didn't use was actually my sea knock. I didn't end up using this because there was so much water everywhere that I really didn't need this while I was in camp. Would I bring it on another trip? Yeah, I would, especially in the summertime. I just really didn't need it on a wintertime hike. Now, down to the good stuff. The stuff that I used the entire time I was on trail, it was definitely bring again. Um, hat, definitely kept me warm. Base layer in camp, we wear again. This actually kept me really warm. It was a merino wool base layer I wore at night. I have a merino wool pullover. I wore this on the day that I had to put my cold, wet clothes back on, but didn't want my puppy to get wet um, from everything being wet underneath it. This was super helpful and really helped keep me warm for the couple of days that I ended up wearing it. My puppy jacket, this thing was great, kept me warm in camp. I am gonna be replacing it with an actual down puppy for future winter hikes, um, but this one has kind of been old faithful for me in the years that I've had it. So definitely be taking that on other hikes. My gloves, I didn't end up using these for warmth at all while I was in camp, but I always bring these on a winter time hike. The star of the trip was my anti-gravity um, gear rain jacket. I wore this thing every single day. It's super lightweight. The pit zips are amazing and I would 10 out of 10 recommend this piece of gear. I got the rain pants to go with the jacket but I didn't end up using them because I was scooting on my butt so much along sharp rocks that I didn't want to tear these pants. Um, so I just kind of took the hit and got my regular hiking pants wet so that these didn't get torn but definitely if only to keep the wind and um, some of the warmth in, I would bring these pants again because they really don't weigh anything at all. I didn't end up using my trowel this trip because it's true what they say about the privies and the long trail. They are the stuff of myth and legend, but would bring this again. Toiletries kit did great in the woods. I loved having the wipes with me. Um, they're a little bit of extra weight to carry, but with how muddy my feet and my ankles were when I got into camp every night, it was so nice to just kind of wash that off my feet, give my feet time to breathe, and not have to worry about, um, you know, bringing that mud and dirt into my sleeping bag every night. Um, items in my Cotopaxi fanny pack. I love this thing, would definitely wear again. It was super easy access. I look stupid wearing it, and I really don't care because it was just really good storage space for me. Um, but I stored my Nightcore headlamp in there. That thing worked really well. Um, also, clicker for my camera, the Swiss Army knife, and my Polycro. I ended up using everything that was in this pack and was very pleased with it. Also, my sunglasses. I didn't end up wearing these on trail because it just wasn't sunny enough. Um, but I wore these a lot on the trip around the hiking trip and they were fantastic and would definitely wear these on future trips. 
my Ngingi socks. These in conjunction with the foot glide I brought, I spent literally three straight days with my feet wet the entire time and did not come home with a single blister. So between this, the foot glide, and honestly the Ultra Trail Runners, which that was my first time wearing those as well, made for a fantastic um, system for my feet and I would definitely wear those on the trail next time I go out. I didn't end up using my wall charger, obviously, because I wasn't in a place that I had power, but I wanted to get in the habit of carrying it with me um, for when I do longer hikes, and um, I'll definitely be using that on longer hikes. Um, charging cables, essential, and I used the um, Anchor charging brick and also the Poseidon charging brick, and between the two of them was able to keep my headlamp charged, my phone charged, um, and my AirPods charged, so those all work really well. My ditty bag, I took my dry shampoo out of here because I just really didn't need it. Um, and I found I don't use it a lot on hikes. Um, but everything else in here I'll definitely be bringing on future hikes. My hand warmer, only one of them came back with me because the other one was used when it was so cold outside. Definitely will be carrying these with me in the future. My Sea to Summit inflatable pillow worked out great, no leaks on this trip. My pee bottle was amazing, honestly, to not have to go out in the woods in the cold and the dark in the middle of the night was fantastic and definitely will be bringing this on future trips. My tent, um, if you watched my video from day two um, and then day three, um, you'll know that my tent actually partially collapsed, in, like the tent wall partially collapsed in the middle of the night from the weight of the rain. Um, and the entire rain fly was actually soaked, like soaked through the rain fly with water. So I resealed this tent when I got back from the trip and I'm looking forward to another opportunity to get it out in the wet to find out if the waterproofing worked. Um, because I really love this tent and I definitely don't want to get rid of it, but I also don't want to get soaked in my tent next time it rains. This is not the buff that I wore on the trip, but this is what I normally wear. 10 out of 10 recommend a buff. The Dirty Girl Gators, they work great. They don't keep the rain out of your shoes, but they kept the dust out of my shoes and honestly helped keep a little bit of the mud from getting in, so I would wear these again. This isn't the shirt that I wore on the trail, but the shirt I did wear worked out great. Um, the REI pants that I wore, like I said, I managed to rip the pocket um, when I was doing all of that butt sliding on the third day trying to get down the rock safely, but that's nothing that a little um, like seamstress work can't fix. And I think I'll probably wear these again. Sleeping pad, um, it did get wet when my tent got wet, but it kept my sleeping bag from getting completely soaked um, and it stayed comfortable for me throughout the night. Towel was essential for drying my tent when it all got wet. Um, I didn't end up using my little shave and care kit, um, but we'll probably carry it with me for other hikes because it does have some things I'll need when I'm out for longer than what I was. Same deal with the hairbrush and the hairband. I'll be packing these in the future, but really didn't use them on this trip. My med kit was um, grossly oversized. I didn't use hardly anything in here, um, and I'll definitely be editing through what I need, um, but the foot glide was the absolute gold in this kit. The Sawyer Squeeze worked out fantastic. I definitely recommend this water system. It was super easy. Um, it really didn't weigh that much and um, it was a really fast way to get my water filtered during the trip. My little extra water filtration kit, this is strictly for emergencies if something were to happen in my Sawyer Squeeze, which I'm not gonna lie, I actually dropped it in a stream and thankfully it wasn't moving too quickly so I was able to pick it out right away, but if something had happened to it, I would have had this as a backup. Now, some things you didn't see in the original video I made of packing the pack um, were my Cetus Cement Cup. Um, this holds hot and cold liquids really well. It has a measuring system on the inside, and best of all, it's collapsible. So this will be coming with me on future hikes. I really enjoyed using this cup, and it was very nice to have a little morale boosting hot coffee in it when I got to camp at night. My Snow Peak um, cook set, I use this every night to make some hot food. It worked out very well. Cleaning bandana. Um, my MSR um, isopro fuel canister. This thing was way too big for the amount of time I was out on trail, um, but working in conjunction with the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe Stove, it boiled water super, super fast, and I was very grateful to have hot things pretty quick after I got into camp every night. The koozie 
I made for my pot to help things cook faster worked really well. It was very white, lightweight and we'll be bringing it again. Same with the koozie I made to put my freezer bag meals down inside. It worked out really, really well. And I also very much enjoyed using my titanium spork. Um, and this was very lightweight and worked well, especially for digging down into those meals um, and freezer bags. Now the true surprise of this tri the trip was honestly how much I liked hiking with stickers. Um, I thought I was going to hate her because of all of the extra weight because she's 2.3 pounds um, base weight on her own, but honestly, um, it fit really well in my pack and I didn't really have to worry about my food getting wet through stickers. Um, as you can see, I added a couple extra stickers when I got back. Um, but I think stickers is going to grow on me. The only complaint that I have is that I have her a little overfilled and she got very hard to open in the cold with the extra items being in there. And of course my old faithful hiking poles, which you may or may not be able to see in the front of the frame. Um, these definitely saved my tail multiple times um, and come with me on every hiking trip that I take. Like I said, my ultra trail runners, I was very pleased with, including the lock laces on them because I never had to worry about tying my shoes or my shoes coming untied while I was on trail. My um, Bishop Pass zero degree sleeping bag worked out really, really well until it got wet on the third day. And when it got wet, that was actually one of the other reasons I chose to pull off of trail, but I would definitely bring this on any winter hike I take. The pack liner kept everything dry that was inside of it, and I was very pleased with that. My sweat rag, I really didn't use this trip because it rained so hard. It just kind of became this like wet, limp rag that was sitting on my shoulder. Um, but I might use it on other trips, so I'll continue bringing that for now. Um, the pee rag works out well. My Crocs, of course, worked well. Um, and the thermometer seemed to work appropriately, and it was nice to know how cold it actually was when I was in camp. But that's everything that was in my pack, and I hope you guys will join me on my next adventure.